biggest video game cheating bust, music from the 20th century, interactive video installation, meme exhibition, and all that jazz, clothes and food tasting, Belgrade's Amazon, and an invite to a peaceful protest, Kickstarter for a short film. And that is our lineup for this week's BAA Bell Art Attractions. I'm your single host today, Boyana, so let's get to it. Now, this is something our writer found interesting and she suspects it is not talked about as much, so we are covering it now. About a week ago, according to the BBC, the link below is to their article. There was a collaborative effort between Chinese police and gaming giant Tencent that has led to the closure of what police say is the biggest ever video game cheat operation. Wow. This gang sold cheats to popular video games such as Overwatch and Call of Duty Mobile. And it is said that they made about 76 million US dollars in revenue for charging a subscription fee to people which ranged from 10 US dollars a day to 200 US dollars a month. The police seized assets worth about 46 million US dollars and this includes several luxury cars. The police found and destroyed 17 cheats and arrested 10 people in connection with the ring. That is pretty intense for a video game cheating ring, I'll say. In the absence of concerts, Dom Omladina is hosting a series of conversations called Zlatne Godine, i.e. the golden years, where pop culture experts and the audience come together to discuss and listen to the most legendary music of the 20th century. This week, Enjoy some of the best albums recorded live. The iconic Johnny Cash's At Folsom Prison Blues from 1968 and the Allman Brothers Band at Fillmore East, which is considered one of the best concert rock records ever. Best of all, these sessions are free yay so pop on over this friday that's tomorrow the 9th april from 6 to 7 pm at dom omladina beograd which is of makedonska 22 to meet and converse with like-minded rock music lovers sounds great what else have we got mm, okay alterations in progress is a video project that will take place also tomorrow on friday they will use the basement of magazine in Kraljevice Marka 4 to 8 to prepare some props and build a green screen studio. This project takes place in Belgrade and in Rotterdam, the Netherlands, and it is intended as a multi-channel interactive video installation. Sounds really cool. They'll put up an installation of some work in progress with drawings, props and some video projections and you are welcome to visit it will be from 4 pm to 8 pm on friday the 9th april as we mentioned at magazine on kraljevica marka 428 for free so we've found a really really cool exhibition for you this saturday and i've never heard of something like this before but i think it has a really widespread appeal it's called student meme and it's an exhibition that marks the occasion of student day now uh, students in this organization have created memes that showcase student life in a humorous way uh, challenges and situations in which they have found themselves during their studies now uh, the exhibition will be in the form of stickers postcards and video projections in an open space within the student city and we'll tell you where that is in a second now it wasn't clear to us whether there'll be uh, these memes will be available for purchasing but certainly you'll be able to go and have a look and why not purchase if there is that choice now the exhibition is on Saturday April the, t April the 10th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And that will be at the Kasuga Library, which is at Dom Kultura Studenski Grad on Boulevard Zorana Jinjica 179 in Novi Belgrad. And of course, entrance is free. What better? Come on, babe, why don't we paint the town? Hmm. 
and all that jazz. Yes, you guessed it. Chicago is on, guys, this weekend, and I can hardly contain myself, as you can see. I won't be in it, unfortunately, but hey, look. Consider this my open audition. All right. So yes, as we said, Chicago's in town. That's right, the Serbian version of one of the most popular Broadway musicals in which passion, lust, intrigue, murder, show business, and corrupt judges and lawyers are intertwined against the backdrop of the turbulent 1920s and exciting choreography by Bob Foss. Catch it this weekend at the 10th and 11th of April at 6 p.m. Tickets are ranging between 900 to 1,300 dinars, which you can buy online as well as in person at Pozorište na Terazijama on Trg Nikole Pašića 3. And we've got the link below. So book your tickets and see you there. Now guys, I've got the biggest smile on my face and I can't hardly believe it. This is, this is my dream job, trying food and sharing it with you all. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, if you paid attention, if you watched last week's episode, you would have seen that we mentioned Lola's Kitchen. Now, Lola's Kitchen is by one of our experts, Trisha Zetz, and her signature dish is a Filipino dish, Lechon de Cebu. Now, I'm guessing you're wondering what that is. I know what it is, but let's open it up and show you. So, excuse me, um, this is, I'm opening up for the first time. This is, this is a proper exclusive unboxing, unwrapping of a special dish. So let's see. It's like Christmas again. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, it smells good. It smells good. Take a look at this, guys. This is Filipino roast pork roast pork belly and what we've got with it we've got okay i think it's two portions of the same sauce which smells delicious it looks like it's got garlic in it i don't know what's in here i believe it's a secret ingredient anyhow this dish lechon de cebu it's uh, extremely popular and the late anthony bourdain once said that it was the best pork roast he had ever had. Now what's unique about this roast is it's been marinated in a secret blend of spices and also been stuffed with lots of herbs. So, oh, and cooked to crispy perfection. So I'm going to attempt to carve it. So let's have a look. Don't judge my carving skills, please. Which side should I start from? Oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, will I be able to pierce it? Ooh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Okay, I think I have to stand. Excuse me. Ooh. My apologies, Trisha, if this is not the way to do it, but you know what? It doesn't matter how it's cut. It matters how it's eaten. Isn't that right? Okay, ooh. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna try to show you. Can you see that? It's stuffed with some herbs in there. So I'm wondering if I can get a little bit of that out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let's just cut a piece. It's very juicy and tender inside and the skin is quite crispy, so. Let me put this on the side. Sorry, table. Let's get a little, I'll sit down again. I've got a bit of skin, I've got a bit of meat. So let's give it a go. Mm. Excuse me. I'm very extra when it comes to food. It's delicious. It's crunchy, tender, everything you would want out of a pork roast. Director, would you like to have a go? 
and give it a try. Bring over your fork. Okay, let me cut you another piece of skin. Piece of pork belly. A little hair. You wanna grab this a little bit? This one. <laughs> yeah, I was just looking at the herbs and the We'll give you a little close up later so you can have a look. Yeah. What say you? It's well made. It's fantastic. So really, really, really recommend it. Uh, a piece like this, a piece. I'm sure there's a better way of saying it. A lovely pork belly roll like this is uh, two kilograms and it costs 2,000 dinars only and it gets delivered to your doorstep. Mm -hmm. So would really, really highly recommend trying this. Um, if you'd like to try, oh, excuse me, we forgot the it's sauce. Oh, pardon. Yeah, we're doing a full tasting here. Oh dear, okay. Let's have a look. And it also comes in this tin, so like you can leave it in the can in this tin, so you can have leftovers. So it's easy to like warm up in the oven. Mm, yeah, and it stays warm for quite long when it yeah. delivers to you until we set things up. So it, it still it still feels freshly made. So do you want to grab a bit of that and a bit of meat? Let's have a look. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's really tempting to eat this all on camera. Yeah, but we're not doing a bad thing. <laughs> oh, look, you've got some herb here. Uh, Shall I cut this? Yeah. <laughs> no. Nah. Okay, we'll just have to show everyone later what it looks like inside. So let's take a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm gonna just sort of put this on the meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm. It's interesting. Sweet. Sweet and spicy. I wouldn't say sour. It's not sweet or sour. It's, it's I definitely. Think it, I think it tastes like it has soy sauce in it. Yeah? Yeah. Mmm, possibly. I wouldn't know. I don't know if Trish's um, ingredients are a secret. Probably not. I mean, <laughs> you don't want to know everything in there. But, you know, I think it's well worth ordering and trying it for yourself. I mean, you've got a whole family meal there. Yeah. Could possibly, depending on your appetite. Now, this would last in my family for one meal time. Mm. We'd pro possibly order two. <laughs> <laughs> We're big foodies. Yeah. But I can see normal people would have this last for a couple of days, maybe. What do you think? Yeah, um, I think my parents said they were lost with them for like three days. So, yeah? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much, Trisha, for sending this over yeah, to us. You. And we wish you could, we could invite you all over to, to have a taste, but you can if you order it. So Lola's Kitchen, in the link below, give it a go. Love is in the air, da, na, 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 na. and so is spring. Well, it was a few days ago, but it's, it'll be coming back, it'll be coming back. Anyway, it's a great time to introduce a new local brand that embodies a feeling of love and playfulness for the whole family. This brand is called Love. Created by a team of mothers in October last year, the Love brand first started out with coordinated separates for mum, dad, children and baby, but they have recently branched out with these gorgeous, I'm wearing it, gorgeous stretch cotton tees with tall sleeves that are gathered at the wrist for a lovely frilly finish. So obviously I opted for black, but they have two other colors, white and like a beige nude and also a dress, a black dress like this that goes to above the knees. Now sizes range from small to medium and there is also X to XL, which is the one that I'm wearing, it's the bigger size. 
And just for reference, I'm a UK size 18 and a European size 46. So, I mean, it's really, it feels really breathable. It's really stretchy. It sort of uh, contours the body, which I like, and I feel really, really feminine in it. Hope you like it. I really love it. Um, okay, so yes, I mentioned the dress, and this top is brilliant. You can dress it up and down. It's a great um, smart casual look, which is just as effective to wear in the office as it is for a walk along the river. Prices are very reasonable, and I did DM them personally to get the, the latest price. Delivery charges are between 250 to 350 dinars. Uh, how it works works is you go onto their Instagram page, which we've linked below, DM them, and I've checked there will be someone on the other end to take your order in English, which is fabulous. And they do payment upon delivery. So you don't pay when you order, you pay as it delivers to your house, which I think is just so convenient. It took this three days to get to me. So I am absolutely chuffed. So go check them out. Up for a kayaking adventure this weekend on Belgrade's Amazon. That's right, you heard right, Belgrade's Amazon, AKA the canals of the Danube River. A real paradise for the senses, the canals are full of various flora and fauna and everything a nature lover loves. Uh, no previous experience is required, which is good news. Uh, you will receive basic kayak management training from the organizers, no fat, no stress, and seriously, that's their name. Departure is at 10 a.m. on either Saturday or Sunday, but you'll need to arrive 15 minutes earlier to be assigned your equipment and be ready. Uh, the level of difficulty is medium, and the duration is between two to three hours, including the training rowing and training children are welcome but need to be accompanied by a parent or an adult and also have a 50 percent discount if under 14 years so it's a brilliant opportunity to get your kids into something a little bit different a sport that's a bit you know outdoorsy however all children must be in two in a two-seater with an adult so they need to be in the same kayak pretty much for exact location and prices, as well as any additional information you may need to know beforehand, please visit their website on www.nofatnostress.com or contact Daniel Djordjevic on 062-771-182. So I don't know about you guys, but if you haven't noticed, and you probably have, Serbia does have its fair share of environmental issues. And I think if anyone's been here over the course of the winter, we've had issues with pollution. And when you go hiking, sometimes there are some unpleasant environmental scenes. So let's get together and bring our voices out and, and, and try to bring about change. So this Saturday, there's a peaceful protest organized by Environmental Conversation a conservation, not conversation, <laughs> organization, Odbranino Reke Stare Planine, let's defend the rivers of Stare Planine Mountain. So that's tomorrow, the 10th of April at 1 p.m. for free at the Narodna Skupština. So the meeting point is the National Assembly. You and others, all of us can stand together with those that care about preserving Serbia's nature, which is under constant threat from various pollutants, large and small. Leaving aside all political and ideological differences, everyone is invited to gather and show the government that we deeply care about preserving the clear waters of the mountains, forests in and around the cities, fields by the rivers and our unique wild landscapes. Let's give our children a chance to run on the carpet of medicinal herbs, play in the meadows and understand that nature must be protected at all costs. I think this is fantastic. So I hope there's going to be a large turnout there. Oh, another question. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wear your masks, people. Of course. Yes, when there are gatherings of people, We'll gather, but we'll be distant with our masks on. 
Going on to our next good cause, we at BAA, we really, as you know, we like to support up and coming artists, indie artists, students. So we were really excited to hear about this project and we're sure that you're going to be excited about it too. So this week, we're pleased to support a Kickstarter project by filmmaker Mirjana Mimi Vlaovic, who is currently finishing her master's studies at the London Film School. So far, she has worked as a director, production designer, producer, editor, and in costume, hello, on more than 50 projects in the past eight years, and now needs you to help her fund her final film to complete her master's. Your Guardian is a short film about a first love in 1992, one mixtape, and finding yourself. The script is inspired by the love story of Mirjana's parents and their experiences from 1992, as well as a personal struggle to make the move to study in to London three years ago. So she explores themes of attachment to a person's homeland, family and friends. Mirjana hopes to one day develop the short film into a feature length one, so as to dig deeper into the protagonist's lives. You can find out more about the project and storyline with the link in the description. Best of luck, Mirjana, we're supporting you. The restriction for businesses and services has been extended to 10 p.m. so they can work from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. However, shopping malls are still closed. Cafes, bars and restaurants with gardens and patios may operate only outdoors with strict observation of all epidemiological measures, including a limit of five people per table with a mandatory two metre distance between tables. Live music performances in gardens and patios are not allowed. But hey, you can have a cup of coffee outside, so that is awesome. Serbia plans new mega international airport for Belgrade, which will take up about 1,100 hectares. We'll have three runways, two terminal buildings, two cargo terminals, and a logistics and free customs zone. Serbia is to start the Belgrade Zrenjanin motorway construction in 2022, where the motorway will be 56 kilometers long, and they are also planning another expressway to connect Zrenjanin to Novi Sad, which will be 50 kilometers long. Well, friends, that has been it for this week's episode of BAA Bell Arts Attractions. My name is Boyana and Nella's not here today. We missed you, Nella, but she'll be back on our screens soon. So if you liked this video and if you like what we do, we'd kindly ask you to subscribe, like this video, slap that subscribe bell and comment if you have any comments. Also, if you'd like to collaborate with us or if you have any, uh, anything that we should be shouting out about, do email us at bellartsattractions at gmail.com or belgradeartnews at gmail.com. So, as I said, that's been it for this week and hope to see you next week. Bye. It's good. Gloria Estefan. Yeah. <laughs> okay.